What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and on today's video we are actually excited as we are going to be unboxing one of the latest release from XFX. This is actually the 6700 XT from AMD and this video card is targeted at 1440p gaming at a high frame rate of course. So this is actually XFX's foray into as you know it the graphics card mumbo jumbo that is happening right now with all the miners and the gamers and the shortage of the supply but this is another edition so previously we've unboxed the speedster series the merc 319 if you remember but now they have another product line or brand line as you may call it because this is actually also part of the speedster series but they have another moniker for it which is the kick quick or q ICK. It's actually quick, but it is labeled QICK on the front. I'm guessing that this will also be the design of the font on the backplate of this card, but we'll have to see once we unbox it. And it, let's try to unbox it now. So, so GDDR6 12GB. Okay, this memory is for the 1440p gamers the target of this card is for 1440p gaming as what will you need 12 gb for in a 1080p ring right ah ah it's okay it's like unboxing a barbie doll <laughs> so as usual i guess they're having the shoe box design for the box so they're calling this one ultra so i'm guessing that down the pipeline they will be releasing other versions of this card which are the of course, the non-Ultra and of course, the 6700 non-XT versions or variants of this uh, series. So, let's start with the box. So, it's actually like the same box as the other one, the one that we have unboxed. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing that it's a bit uh, small. It's a bit smaller than those. Okay. So, same design, shoe box design. Maintenance! I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay. There's a full minute. Okay, same old story. We have the warranty card and the quick start manual. Okay, uh, it would have been nice if they included the USB for this one, but nowadays we can only just download it from the manufacturer's website. So, quick start guide and warranty card. Stop. Important driver information. <laughs> so, and then, of course, the warranty card from XFX. Let's put those aside. And now we have the ten, 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 the card. Okay, so 319, as you know from our previous unboxes, unboxing of these cards. Three fans. Okay, one 100 millimeter. Or two 100 millimeter, two 100 millimeters, and one 90 millimeter at the middle. Let's see if that is still the case with this one. Okay. So, of course, the packaging is very nice with this anti-static plastic that they include. But I'm noticing right now that the anti-static bag that they have on this one is not like the other previous cards that we've unboxed. Those are like the anti-static, like a bluish ones. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to remove the tape from here. What I like about this is the anti-static bag is actually exactly exactly fitted for the card not unlike other brands anti-static cards which are wrapping around the card two times okay so ten, 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 ten. let's see oh okay it's much lighter than the previous card to be honest the merc and there is something different here in this card so previously if i'm not mistaken the fan on the middle is actually smaller than the other two ones that are on the side but i have to check so this one has still the aluminum the aluminum shroud that covers the card but on this version the qick version the difference is that the protruded light bar isn't visible anymore or isn't implemented on this design. As you can see, the I'm not sure if this is actually RGB, 
but based on our initial findings it wasn't so this is actually for a sleek uh, non-rgb build if you may ask me and this would actually fit good in those all black themes that you might want to build but still it's lighter than the merc 319 series but it still it still looks good it still looks sexy as you can see the only difference is yeah that one and i'm not sure about the copper pipes that are inside but they seem to be like the same see and the back plate still serves as a heat dissipator as there are thermal pads in between the PCB and the aluminum backplate. Okay. So, XFX, again, good job on the design of this one. Whoever is designing your cars, you, you should raise their salary. <laughs> and as for the specs, the base clock is up to 2418 megahertz versus the base clock of 2321 MHz on the 6700 XT from AMD. The game clock is up to 2514 MHz versus 2424 on the base clock. Given that it is a manufacturer's card, okay, this is expected to be or has higher clocks than the base model or the base AMD ones. And the boost clock will be up to 2622 instead of 25. 81 against the base 6700 XT from AMD or the reference card. It has the same stream processors at 2560 and it has a memory bus of 192 bit at memory clock of 16 GB PS and the memory size of 16 GB with a type of GDDR6 and as they are saying on the spec sheet of this card it is a two slot card but still it's more than two slots it will be like 2.5 or 2.7 okay and as, as for the output it has three display ports at 1.4 with support with DSC and HDMI 2.1 one HDMI 2.1 that supports 4k up to 120 Hertz and 8k at 60 Hertz or, yeah 8k at 60 Hertz for the HDMI 2.1 as for the power supply connectivity, it requires a 2 8-pin power supply and the recommended wattage of a power supply here is at 750. Although it only requires 650, it's best to accommodate for those sudden peaks in electric or power needs of this card. Also, what I can see from the side is that it has a toggle switch as well. Like, same with the Merc series for the performance and or I'm not really sure what this does, but it should be the quiet or the performance mode. So it has only two toggles. So I have to check, but there is a toggle for the performance or the quiet mode on the side. As for the technologies, it supports AMD RDNA 2 architecture, DirectX 12 Ultimate, GDDR6 memory, of course, PCI Express 4.0, AMD FreeSync, and AMD Fidelity FX. It also supports the Radeon image sharpening and as for ray tracing, we have to see the performance of this 1440p card when it, it, when it comes to ray tracing. But of course, it supports ray tracing. Now, as for size comparison, as you can see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it with the Merc that we've unboxed before. So as you can see, or as I can feel, this one is beefier, of course. The Merc is actually beefier, but they actually have the same aluminum shroud. Although on this Merc, the XFX logo is on the shroud as well. While here, as you can see, the protruded light bar is non-existent. But I can see that the copper pipes are still the same, okay? I guess that... The Merc has a bigger PCB because of the backplate. As you can see, the size of the backplate is actually is where you can see the difference in the size of these two cards. Aside from that, we can see on the side that there is a Radeon logo, but it's non-RGB. As I've said, this card has no RGB on it, this, but this one has this light bar on the side that you can see. Also, we've 
discussed earlier that the fans on the Kick or Quick series is actually different from the Merc series by the layout and the size of it. For this one, it has a 100 millimeter fan on the middle and 290 on the side. I guess that is where we've cut corners, but I guess the effectivity of the cooling won't matter that much. So having looked at the Merc series against the Kick series, I would say that there is not really much difference against the build quality as this one still has the cast aluminum iron mechanism, mounting mechanism at the side that is very tough. I really like this feature of this card. Other than the light bar, everything seems to be the same as the heat sinks or the heat pipes are actually Oh, yeah, it's actually almost the same. But my gripe with this one is that why did they still call it 319? There is only one 100 millimeter fan and two 90 millimeter fans on the side. Maybe they should have called it 391 instead of 319, right? Because of the naming series of the Mercury or the Speedster series from XFX. If you know the answer to this one, please comment down below. That is it for this unboxing and first look of the XFX 6700XT Quick Edition. This is again the 6700XT. Like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel and please do subscribe as we have other contents that we want to shell out or put out or pump out with these upcoming graphics cards. And See you on the next video.